Hi, this is DID. George Smith Patton Jr. is one of the most famous U.S. Army generals in American history. During his more than 30-year military career, he served in both World War I and World War II and was one of the pioneers of tank combat in the U.S. Army. In World War II, Patton commanded American operations in North Africa, Sicily, and France. His excellent command and leadership abilities made outstanding contributions to the Allied victory in World War II. However, Patton was also controversial for his strong personal style and behavior. On December 9, 1945, Patton was injured in a car accident near Mannheim and passed away on December 21st in Heidelberg. After 11 years, we bring you 1-6 General Patton again. In this video, we will take a look at what is inside and how to assemble the figure. Let's check it out. The head sculpt is super authentic as always. He looks calm and composed, with a determined gaze, as if everything is well planned and victory is assured in battle. He wears a classic act jacket with two big pockets on the chest, an adjustable waistband and carrying hook for the gun belt, and a pleated design on the back. Inside, he wears a khaki shirt and a tie. The pants are 3D cutting riding breeches with connected pockets on the crotch area. On his feet are the iconic brown real leather cavalry boots. Outside the jacket is an officer trench coat with real pockets and adjustable bands on the cuffs and behind the collar. The coat comes with a belt and there is hidden wire in the hem, which allows for different styles. He wears a green M1 helmet and comes with an extra helmet liner that can be worn separately. Two helmet straps are also included. He can also wear an olive green garrison cap. There are three pairs of palms for available poses, relaxed, holding a gun, and holding a horse with General Patton is equipped with goggles, M15A1 binoculars, a horsewhip, and four exclusive rings. When it comes to the choice of weapons, General Patton also has distinct personal preferences. He carries two pistols on his waist, one of which is a custom-made .45 revolver with full decoration on the gun body. This becomes his most famous symbol. The .45 revolver comes with 12 rounds of bullets, neatly packed in a real leather belt. The other one is a .357 Magnum, one of the most powerful handguns at that time. Patton usually carries it on the battlefield to take down enemies if necessary. The .357 Magnum comes with six bullets. Patton had exclusive carrying equipment, consisting of two real leather gun holsters, an ammunition pouch, and an accessory pouch, all combined with a real leather belt. General Patton's highest military rank was a four-star general. Therefore, we have prepared an extra set of four-star collar tabs for him. There are also plenty of stars for the helmet of a four-star general. Additionally, there are a variety of finely crafted patches. Now that everything is ready, let's assemble them together.
After 11 years, the classic General Patton is back. How can you miss one of the most famous American Army generals of World War II again? Just scroll down to the description and take him home. If you like our action figure or video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more info about the latest products. Thank you for your support. See you next time.